We bring you inside a crisp and cool night at Foxborough, Massachusetts. With the DSFL 2020, this is the AFC Championship game. Nick Rice, Gavin Hill, and on the sideline, Hank Lewis. The top two seeds in the AFC, 18 Chiefs and the 07 Patriots. The two best records in the conference with an opportunity to hoist the Lamar Hunt Trophy here at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. This is a showdown of two of the most pristine and effective offenses in NFL history. The 2018 Chiefs, who were top five in points against the highest scoring club in the league in the DSFL 2020 this year, this is the 07 Patriots. Gavin, we should have a shootout tonight. Oh yeah, it's Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady. And you got guys like Randy Moss, Dante Stallworth, Tyreek Hill, and Travis Kelsey, and Sammy Watkins. We are ready for a battle here tonight. It should be a great game, Gavin, along with two excellent head coaches that will go down as two of the best of all time. And Andy Reid and Bill Belichick. This kickoff soars from Butker into the end zone and is down for a touchback. Arguably the greatest quarterback in the history of the NFL. Had a sensational season in 07. He leads the league completing 77% of his throws this year, but has an offensive line led by three pro bowlers, an offensive coordinator maybe the best in franchise history in Josh McDaniels, along with all-pro wide receiver Randy Moss. This offense is loaded. Oh, no doubt. Randy Moss is one of the best receivers in the league. And as you see, Randy Moss has... It has Brady's number. Yeah, he has just been incredible throughout the 07 season and here today. That is a completion of Welker for seven yards on the first play of the game. Not the same story for the Kansas City defense, which ranked 31st in the 2018 year. They do have a pro bowler in D Ford and a secondary Fuller, Parker, Murray, and Nelson that is serviceable for Bob Sutton, the defensive coordinator of Kansas City. After the seven-yard gain for Welker, the Patriots and the highest scoring offense of the league has the ball spot of the 32-yard line, and Brady throws towards Watson. That pass is incomplete. Let's take a quick look at the Patriots as a whole. In 2007, New England went 16-0 and and outscored its opponents by nearly 20 points per game. This unit was typically blowing out teams by the end of the first quarter until New England played the Giants in Glendale, Arizona. One of the most monumental Super Bowl upsets ever saw the New York Giants, a 10-win team, knock off the unbeaten Patriots in Super Bowl 42. What were your thoughts of that game, Gavin? Yeah, it was really heartbreaking for Bill Belichick, almost completed the undefeated streak from the late great Don Shula and the 72 Dolphins, but apparently they were one game short. Yes, that pass incomplete, knocked away by Speaks. Yet that has to also be on the mind of Bill Belichick today, knowing that he'd like to avoid that sort of a situation too. Indeed, indeed. Don Shula did everything for the Dolphins, and Bill wanted to do that, but he just couldn't it, that dur that during that season. You know, it's just it's interesting when you think about just all the perfect storm with the Miami Dolphins and how great they were for that year. And even the Patriots, who have maybe a half dozen Hall of Famers on this 07 roster, the fact that they still couldn't pull it off, it just explains how tough it is and how incredible of an accomplishment that was for Don Shula. Now Patrick Mahomes accomplished quite a bit in 2018 as a league MVP and an Offensive Player of the Year, throwing for a franchise record 50 touchdowns. Those were his numbers going into this game of the DSFL 2020. There's a pro bowler up front at Eric Fisher too, along with all pro wide receiver Tyree Kill. The Chiefs quarterback has weapons led by offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy, and they will be on full display in tonight's game. For the AFC Championship, Mahomes finds Hill, who races across the 50, but this appears to be a hold that will bring back the run. You're correct on that, Nick. It is is a holding against Andrew Willey. The undrafted rookie free agent from Eastern Michigan. That's a play I'm sure the Chiefs would love to have back. But this offense in Kansas City, certainly while their hands fall against the Patriots, New England ranked fourth in the league in defense in 2007 and first against the run this year. The Patriots, uh, Gavin, have some very talented players back there. Oh, yeah, you got Asante Samuel, Rodney Harrison, Junior Seau, Teddy Bruschi. You just got defensive guys 
just ramming at your throats. <laughs> well, the Chiefs will ram the ball at the throat of that Patriots front seven. It's a three-yard gain on the first carry of the game for Kareem Hunt. This is a rematch of week eight of the DSFL 2020 regular season. The Patriots took control of the Chiefs from the opening kickoff, outgaining Kansas City by over 100 yards and forced the only turnover of the game and a 24 to 10 win. This is a rematch of that regular season duel between the two. Second down handoff to Kareem Hunt. He races to the edge and gains two. The tackle is made by Ellis Hobbs. Let's take a closer look at that game overall at Arrowhead Stadium. Brady threw three incomplete passes and New England dominated from the start. Yeah, you're not gonna see that same game again because Kansas City is just way too good offensively. Yes, the Chiefs, they were down 21 to nothing and did not gain their opening first down against New England until the second half. Third and 15, he shoots the ball downfield, knocked away by Sanders on the throne, tendered for Watkins. This has been a strange start to the game. Both offenses go three and out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you usually don't see that in a Patriots-Chiefs game, but as you see, it's happening here. Yes, these are two of the highest three uh, scoring offenses in the history of the National Football League. The Patriots scored over 36 a game in 2007, and the Chiefs racked up 35 and a half points per game in 2018. Here's the punt from Dustin Colquitt. He sends it to Welker, ducks under the coverage, and is wrapped up at the 24-yard line. We anticipate offense in this football game today. We're back in a moment to Gillette Stadium. Winner is the AFC champion and takes on the winner of the NFC in the Dream Bowl 5 at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. We have no score from Foxborough. Welcome back to Gillette Stadium. Tonight's game was brought to you by Vegas Pro 17.0, EA Sports Madden NFL 20, and the NFL on CBS. Patriots and Chiefs have exchanged three and outs, Gavin. That is something that we may see an end of pretty soon given how talented these offenses are. Oh yeah, but the Patriots defense is just flat out dominating this game. The Patriots off the play fake. They're back to the air with Brady who launches it deep and Moss makes the catch in front of Eric Murray of the Chiefs. It's a 29 yard gain, first down Patriots. Obviously that's what they needed. Randy Moss, Adam Marshall is just an amazing receiver. He can out, he can out race you in a foot race contest. And as you see, he did it right there. And he certainly got the size to compete against the double team. 98 catches in 2007, 23 of those were touchdowns, an NFL record. He has five touchdowns to lead the league this season and gains 29 there. First and 10 for New England after the big play to Moss. That is the opening first down of the AFC Championship game. Running back screen set up to Falk. That is knocked away and incomplete. Look for more on this football game today. We send it over to Hank Lewis on the sideline. Hey, thanks, Nick. The 2007 New England Patriots posted one of the greatest offenses that the NFL has ever seen. In speaking to their head coach, Bill Belichick, he mentioned that the Patriots need a more dynamic run game in order to compete with the Chiefs. He hopes to avoid the same rushing struggles that hurt them throughout the 2007 playoffs, including their shocking Super Bowl 42 loss to the Giants. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Hank. Yes, the Patriots are a juggernaut, and certainly the Chiefs will have a tough time slowing down quarterback Tom Brady in today's game. Third and seven, Brady play fake. He takes a shot into the end zone, and that pass is knocked away from Stallworth. Incomplete, and the Patriots stall on third down again. Yeah, you also got to watch out for Dante Stallworth. He's another receiver that can beat you over the top. He did it in 2007. And Dante Stallworth also this season with 15 catches for 166 yards. He was covered up by Steven Nelson, maybe a slightly better throw, and that's a touchdown to put New England on the board. Patriots bring out Chris Hansen again. The nine-year pro from Marshall ranks seventh in average this year in the DSFL 2020. Sends this one to the sideline, and it bounces out of bounds at the two. 41-yard punt for Hansen as the AFC Divisional Playoff is where the Chiefs 
advanced here to the big game. Mahomes threw for 414 yards. He certainly will have a tough time pinned deep in his own end this go around. But Kansas City pinned with the excellent punt from Hanson, his ninth coffin corner of the year. They'll go ground to begin this one. But Kansas City, they are losing the battle of field position to begin this game. Not certainly the case against the Raiders of the AFC Divisional Playoffs. Mahomes, we may see it at some point today, Gavin. He is capable of taking over a game, and he did that. Here's Chris Conley, who won the game for the Chiefs last week against the Raiders. Yeah, Chris Conley is a very underrated receiver. He he has some good speed, but and if you and if you cannot guard him, he will burn you deep. Yeah, two touchdowns this year. One of them was on a fourth and ten with under two minutes to go against the Raiders in the AFC playoffs. Gut run to Hunt, who spins at the ten and is drilled by Harrison at the 13. Holding. Yep, and there's a flag, Gavin. That brings back the run. Eric Fisher, the pro bowler, commits the hole. Not a good flag there for Eric Fisher. And look at Andy, Andy Reid's upset. Yeah, now Andy Reid, who has guided the Chiefs through the second seed of the AFC, certainly could ill afford too many of those penalties. Inside handoff to Kareem Hunt, and he spins to the six. Kareem Hunt, he was no longer with the team after the 2018 campaign. A slow start for him today, but we expect Kareem Hunt to pick it up later in the game. Oh, yeah. Kareem Hunt is a very special running back. Got a little bit of a trouble. Gotten a little bit of a tr of a trouble back back earlier in the season, but he started to pick the pace up. Yes, Kareem Hunt so far in the DSFL with three touchdown runs and two more in the air. Certainly should be a threat against the Patriots. Mahomes is from his end zone and takes a shot downfield. Hill makes the catch of the 30, a foot race past Sanders. Tyreek Hill, 94 yards, touchdown Kansas City. Well, that is how Patrick Mahomes can burn you deep. Tyreek Hill is one of the one of the one of the greatest current receivers out there. He is small, but he can sure flat out burn you deep. He's like a smaller Randy Moss. Yeah, he had uh, some rocket ju uh, juice there right past the line of scrimmage. Tyree Kill explodes past the Patriots defense, and 94 yards later, Kansas City takes the lead. While the Patriots may be the best run defense in the league, they have given up some big plays over the top, but none is bigger than here with 2.57 to go in the first quarter from Gillette Stadium where the Chiefs, who certainly are underdogs in this game today, they have torched the Patriots secondary and have the lead. We are back in a moment to Foxborough. Chiefs with a 7-0 lead. Welcome back to Gillette Stadium. The winner of the Dream Bowl 5 will be garnered as America's Games representative. We will have a four storyline and all interviews about that team, whoever wins the DSFL 2020 championship. It certainly should be fun. America's Game, as we take a look at the Patriots, this is their largest deficit of the year, ironically, in their 11-0 campaign. The Patriots would hope to be one of those teams on America's game, joining the Chicago Bears of the DSFL, too. Indeed, indeed, America's game is a very special program that has the best team out on the field. And the winner of this game will be in an opportunity to compete for that championship and be regarded as the greatest team since the year 2000. Kevin Falk has had a remarkable year. If the Patriots are to win this game, Falk might be an important cog in this offense. Indeed, Kevin Falk alongside Lawrence Maroney know how to run the football. Yes, the Patriots, not just the best passing game of the NFL in 2007, but in the DSFL 2020, they are a top five rushing offense. Lawrence Maroney is the bell cow for New England, second year pro from Minnesota. He is a top 10 runner and also one of the most astounding things for Maroney, you would think maybe the likes of LaDainian Tomlinson potentially over the last 20 years. I mean, Jerome Bettis with how good he is in the red zone. One of those running backs would lead the league in touchdowns, but Maroney has nine TD runs. That's best in the NFL. Third down completion to Kevin Falk, gain of 13. The two running backs are taking over this drive. That's a first down for the Winglers. 
Oh, yeah, Kevin Falk and Lawrence Maroney, two of the most devastating running backs. Maroney can flat out track you with his trucking, and Kevin Falk can outrun you with his elusiveness, elusiveness. So you have to watch out for both of them. Yeah, 34 catches now for the veteran from LSU, running back Kevin Falk. That is a first down pickup for the Patriots. New England has two of them. Chiefs have none, but Kansas City has the lead. C route knocked away from Walker, incomplete. Almost intercepted there. Yeah, good coverage by way of Kansas City's Kendall Fuller, a three-year pro from Virginia Tech. The Chiefs defense is playing better than advertised, Gavin, to begin the game, in the secondary at least. Yeah, you never see the Chiefs play this good on defense. Straight drop for Brady on a second down and 10. He's got time. And now it breaks down. He lost the ball. It's forced by Ford, but picked up by the Patriots. And New England keeps possession as Kevin Falk was there after Williams and Ford combined for the fumble. Loss of six. Yeah, yeah Brady just stood there like, like trying to get some protection from Matt Light, but he couldn't. And then the Chiefs came, came hungry. And the Kansas City defense so far has been the story of the game. Brady fires downfield on third and 16. That has knocked away from Stallworth. And Kansas City forces the third Patriots punt of the first quarter, Gap. Yeah, you see a little pushing and shoving there. These two teams do not like each other. Tom Brady right now is not liking any of this Chiefs defense. The quarterback by way of Michigan currently ranks top five in the league in every statistical category of completion, yards, touchdowns, interceptions, you name it. Tom Brady has been exceptional. He had a quarterback rating of 104 last week against the Colts in that AFC divisional win. Yet so far, Brady and the Patriots passing game has been largely inconsistent. Hill returns this punt. He spins across the 20 and brings it back in front of Seau to the 23. Yeah, Tyreek Hill can outrun you. He's not only a good receiver, but he can do kickoff and punt return, so you gotta watch out. Yeah, you never know when Tyreek Hill can take one back the distance. Kansas City with a seven nothing lead. Hill was the recipient of the 94 yard touchdown pass. 17th of the season for the young maestro from Texas Tech and all pro quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Play action, Mahomes guns it with a flag thrown. Over the middle to Sammy Watkins. This could be yet another hold on the Chiefs. Indeed it is. Yes, Kansas City flagged three times today. Laurent Duverday tardy five-year pro from the Gill. Over 320 yards of penalties this year. Andy Reid's Chiefs so far squandering some very impressive starts of their field position. And now they face a first and 20. Out cut to Demarcus Robinson. And the wide receiver from Florida gains 12 in front of the likes of Ellis Hobbs. Yeah, Demarcus Robinson it is a young, talented receiver. This Kansas City team is really good with Demarcus Robinson. Yeah, seventh catch of the year for the three-year pro, 6'1", 205. He beat Teddy Bruschi, and that is a rarity in coverage, too, for the Patriots and a New England defense that gave up the fewest yards in the league, just 184 per game. This defense is very good. Pass rush is coming. Here's a draw. Kareem Hunt races to his left and is spilled by Junior Seau, an 18-year NFL veteran out of USC. That run ends the first quarter. Kansas City 7, New England nothing. Back in a moment to Gillette Stadium on EA Sports. Welcome back. Both teams have switched sides, and the Chiefs face third and three to begin the second quarter. Kansas City, they'll go ground on third and short, and Kareem Hunt has been stopped by Junior Seau again. Oh, yeah, Junior Seau knows how to tackle someone. He is a veteran, the late, great Junior Seau. Yeah, certainly rest in peace. Yep, Junior Seau. Right now, as you look at the numbers, well, Kansas City with a 7-0 lead has all but dominated the game yet our score certainly isn't fully indicative of how good this New England club is. The Patriots are set to get another shot at it on offense when we come back. <laughs> 